Yeah, it goes A's for ambition. Be what I wanna be. See past the situation that's in front of me. What is up, you guys? Welcome to another video. If this is your first time watching, don't go away. Please ignore a few things. This right here, I don't know where this huge zit came from, but it's here and it's we're like we're friends now. I like a few weeks ago I got my hair cut and for some reason I just broke out like crazy from that. And I've had these two ever since. Yeah, I'm a bed. You can't kill me. For today's video, I think we should talk about a piece of history that for some reason got forgotten and we don't talk about anymore, which is the cool S. You're probably like, what is that? And I don't, I didn't know what it was either when I first heard of it. But after I Googled it, I realized that I knew what this thing was the entire time. But for some reason, we just never talked about it after like sixth grade. So the cool S was this shape where it's like three lines connected by three other lines. And then it makes like an S shape that we graffitied all over entire schools. I put some dents in my locker with it that they told us not to put dents in. This shape really took over just like our entire life and we dropped it off without ever doing anything else with it. So I thought, why don't we bring it back? Why don't we resurrect a relic of our past? And so today I'm gonna be doing a custom sneaker with the cool S shape. I really hope this goes well because if it doesn't, then I just have to keep an ugly sneaker with terrible design on it. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe or or not. I mean, you're lost, honestly. But um, yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so the thing is, I usually don't do voiceovers. So if you like watching art videos without them, just like go listen to like Drake or something, I really don't care. But for this video, things didn't really go how I wanted them to go and I thought I might as well like narrate my struggle with you guys. If you like the voiceover with it, just let me know in the comments. Anyway, I wanted to do like a cool fiery design and that's what I had in my head. So as you can see, I start out here, I do my S's, some of them are backwards, but we'll get over it, you know? We all make mistakes. Mine are worse than most people's, but that's really not the point. Um, yeah, I go with the orange outline, and then I'm gonna go over with red in a second, because, you know, fire, red, orange, yellow, that's like an elementary school thing that we should all know by now. And as you can see here, things are going pretty great, right? It's building up. I'm getting a good, like, base and color profile going on. But in a few minutes, I'm gonna, like, make the biggest mistake ever and mess it all up. Which is usually what I do with, like, most of my artwork. And that mistake was going over with black. As you can see here, if you know anything about black Sharpie, black Sharpie does not mix with anything. It will just cover everything up and not really enhance colors that's why people usually use it as an outline when they're drawing and i made the mistake of trusting a black sharpie and now i'm just going over with the air with the yellow and the red and the orange standard practice nothing really to see here this is like the boring part but then like if you look at that fire it doesn't look like a fire it looks like really bad graffiti on like some berlin street if you if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about and so I tried to do the honest thing, which is to cover it up with white paint marker. And white paint marker just doesn't cover that well, which I'm just now finding out. And for some reason, I don't know what chemical equation went on, but when you cover white paint marker with a orange Sharpie, the black shows up again. The only thing that the white paint marker really actually covered was the orange and red but for some reason the black just wouldn't go away you can see here again i try to cover it and nothing works so i kind of went over with red that didn't work either and i think i gave up a little bit so off camera because my camera died just my luck i decided to go over it with like white primer and i redid it but as I said earlier, my camera died, so you guys get the final product. I still did the S-shape, so it still counts, and I'm pretty happy with that. I think it looks really cool. Okay, so we did it. We did it, and we did it. I honestly think this is a lot better than what I had in my head. 
because I kind of cheated and I went around with white, but it still followed the shape, so it, I didn't break the rules. I bent the rules. Don't break the rules, bend them. I think it looks cool. I decided to go with the fire because, you know, get it. Your sneakers are fire. Ha. No. Bad joke. I'm sorry. We're allowed to have dad jokes on here. I'm like an old person. So it only makes sense that I make old people jokes. Anyway, thank you so much if you made it this far. Don't forget to check out all my other social media. Instagram, Twitter. I barely use them, but whatever. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. You say inspire me to love them. G is past go with ignite the cash flow. When eights is put your heart in whatever's your last hope.